costume. I came as June Cleavage. <laughs> Excuse me, Jim, can you, can you see my feet? I mean, did it, did it look all right to you? I, I'm, you know, because I don't think I've seen them since puberty. <laughs> and you may all have noticed I have rather large breasts, right? You know, and they get more attention than I do. I mean, sometimes I think I'd come out here and they should get their own introduction. Live on stage, folks, it's Hefty Lefty and Mighty Righty! <laughs> you know, it's crazy. And, you know, while we're here, while we're on the subject, maybe some of you other ladies can answer a question for me. Volleyball. Do you bump over them? Or do you bump under them? I've never been able to figure that out. But you know, in my case, the only problem with having big breasts is that the rest of my body grew in proportion to them. <laughs> you know, lately, I've become very frightened about something. Jello. <laughs> think about it. Who invented it and why? I mean, do you think some housewife was just sitting at home and she said, hmm, I think that I'll grind up some horse hooves, add sugar and food coloring, boil them. Mm, won't that be good? You know, and I, I read the paper the other day. I read the paper the other day about cholesterol. They found that people that lower their cholesterol level do not increase their life expectancy because people that lower their cholesterol have a higher suicide rate. <laughs> I guess it's true. Some people just can't live without that real taste of butter. <laughs> you know what they're lighting everything these days, right? You've got Doritos lights, you've got Bud Light, you've got Kraft Light dressing. And you know what I discovered? There's a new kind of man out there. I call them macho lights. Okay. Please, you know, the guy that said, shut the fuck up. Honey. <laughs> hey, yo, bring me a beer, sweetheart. <laughs> they're out there, they're out there, and I work with a bunch of them, let me tell you. I work for Amtrak. I work on board the train. Yes, I wait tables in the dining car. That doesn't deserve a round of applause. You know, people still do that for a living. You've all heard that ad, right? There's something about a train. There is. <laughs> train that makes everybody act like they're seven years old. <laughs> they don't think, they don't listen, and they want everything right now. You know, like last week, right? I'm working in the dining car, and this gentleman says to me, hey, uh, excuse me, honey, I want a cup of decaffeinated coffee, please. I said, sir, I'll be with you in just a minute. He said, no, you know, you always say just a minute. I want it right now. I said, you know, sir, I think you've been watching too much television. <laughs> this is not bewitched. <laughs> and I am not Samantha. And if I could blend that decap to your table, I'd be steps ahead of this game. So, honey, if you've got to have something right now, you better suck on this. <laughs> Regular or decap? I went to my high school reunion, my 10-year high school reunion in Orange County a couple months ago. God, those things are weird, right? Well, I took my boyfriend with me, who happens to be black, because I figured at least everybody has something else to talk about besides how fat I've gotten. <laughs> you know, and I figured if worse came to worse, at least I'd recognize someone, right? So we got there. Oh, my boyfriend naturally was thrilled. I mean, what black man wouldn't want to go to a dinner dance in Orange County, right? He said, honey, let's complete the evening. We'll take in a John Birch Society meeting on the way. Well, you know, we got there, and actually things turned all right. It turned out all right, you know, except, God, people lie at these things. They do. Yeah, you've been to yours. Oh, one woman, one girl in our class walked the whole room telling everybody, oh, yes, I'm in a entertainment at the Disney Corporation. Yes, that's right, I'm in entertainment at the Disney Corporation. Not everyone in the park answers to me. She's Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. So I figured while everybody else was lying, I said, yes, I work for the government. I work for the government in transportation and procurement. You know, what are you going to tell them, right? You know, and then, of course, some of the women talk about nerve. Right? They came up to me and they said, so Christy, tell us, tell us, is it true? You know, honey, that black sexual myth. I said, oh, that, is it really still a myth? <laughs> I guess you've been in Orange County too long, honey. You know, I tell you, I a Thomas guide last week. Aren't these things great? Except, I've had a lot of anxiety lately about using it. 
because I've discovered that I can take almost any page, lay it across my stretch marks, I got a perfect match. I mean, it's like, oh, look, there's the pub with a boulevard. Oh, look, downtown, you can see the high rises. Oh, wait, wait, it's a great reference for sex, though. You go, honey, honey, no, no, I said Laurel Canyon. <laughs> I get a bad attitude about dieting. I mean, I'm one of those people when I see that commercial, and they say, if you're 100 or more pounds overweight, call us at this number. I go, 100 pounds, let's eat, I got 30 to go. Yeah. Right, you know, and then people say the stupidest things to you when you're overweight, right? Oh, they, oh I love this one, they please send and go, Christy, you know, you've really put on a lot of weight. Oh my God, I have. <laughs> Gee, thanks for telling me. Why, if you hadn't pointed that out to me, I might never have noticed. Just think of all the hours I would have wasted worrying about anorexia. Yeah. You know, I don't know, but I'm in touch with that. I used to be very embarrassed about my body, really embarrassed. But you know, I hated being naked in the same house with a man, let alone the same room, right? I mean, I had my windows masked, you know, and it, you know, no, no, honey, don't turn on the lights, just keep talking. I'll find the bed. <laughs> You know, forget it. Now, I come in the room, I rip my clothes off, I throw them on the floor, I want the lights on, I want the windows up. I go, honey, don't bother moving over, because I'm on top. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hi, everybody. Look, before we get started, there's something I have to know. Can you see my feet? No, seriously, do they look all right to you? Because frankly, I don't think I've seen them since puberty. <laughs> you may have all noticed, yes, I, I think you noticed. And this guy over here, I was hoping he noticed. Anyway, I think you all might have noticed that I have rather large breasts. Yeah, they get a lot of attention. Sometimes they get more attention than I do. You know, in fact, I think they really deserve their own introduction, don't you? Live on stage, folks, it's Hefty Lefty and Mighty Righty. Please applaud, I don't want him to go home. <laughs> you know, and while we're on the subject, there's something I'd like to clear up. Volleyball. Does anybody know? Do you bump over them or do you bump under them? I've never been able to figure that out. See, you understand. You took PE. You know, but really, the truth is, I've never really had a problem with having large breasts except that the rest of my body grew in proportion to them. You know, I read something the other day in the paper that really shocked me. I read that people that lower their cholesterol level do not increase their life expectancy because people that lower their cholesterol have a higher suicide rate. I guess it's true. Some people just can't live without that real taste of butter. You know, but really, the truth is they're trying to lighten everything these days, right? They got Kraft Light dressing. They got Doritos Light. They got Bud Light. And you know, I've discovered something. There's a new kind of man out there. I call them Macho Lights. <laughs> ladies, ladies, you know, this is the guy that says, Shut the fuck up, sweetie. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, bring me a fucking beer, honey. <laughs> You know him, you know him. Yeah, unfortunately I do too. Uh, anyway, uh, I work for Amtrak. I wait tables on board the train and the dining car. What a rough job, because people that ride the train are crazy. I, no, they are. It's like last week, right? I'm waiting on this guy and he says to me, uh, Miss, miss, I'd like a cup of decaffeinated coffee, please. I said, sir, I'll be with you in just a minute. He said, you know what? You always say, just a minute. I want that decaf right now. I said, you know, sir, I'm concerned. I think you've been watching too much television <laughs> because this is not Bewitched. <laughs> and I am not Samantha. And if I could blink that decaf to your table, I'd be steps ahead of this game. So, honey, 
If you gotta have something right now, you better suck on this. Regular or decaf? Everybody, bring a cup. I don't know, taps are flowing, right? I, you know, I, I, I tell you, a lot's been going on in my life these days. Um, I went to my 10-year high school reunion, and uh, I took my black boyfriend with me because I figured that way, I figured that way they'd all have something to talk about besides how fat I'd gotten, right? <laughs> and they did, believe me, they did. Oh, oh, hey, I bought a Thomas Guide last week. Anybody have one? Y'all have a Thomas Guide? I, these things are the greatest, right? Except I gotta tell you, I've had a lot of anxiety about using it because I've discovered I can take almost any page, lay it across my stretch marks, I got a perfect match. Oh, 42E, look, Sepulveda Boulevard. Oh, there's downtown, you can see the high rises. <laughs> but you know, wait, wait, it's a great reference guide for sex. It's like, honey, uh, I said Laurel Canyon. <laughs> Oh, baby, hit the interchange, hit the interchange. No, no, honey, no, that's an off-ramp. <laughs> Thank you very much. Christy House.